What's up, guys? How's it going today? So, I got my other snack crate in. Uh, well, not my other, but got another snack crate in the mail. And so, once again, we're going to film this one here. So, just kind of backtrack here. and My memory's a little cloudy, so I bear with me here. So, all the snack crates that I've enjoyed so far, the very first one is from Germany, Philippines, the road trip one, which basically just kind of covered a lot of snacks from across America, which was pretty disappointing. Uh, obviously, I've, you know, there are different variations of snacks that to try and just under different names, and it was all right. South Korea, United Kingdom, and now here we are to this one. Um... And we'll show you guys. We are tasting Belgium today. So, as you see here, we got our little snackaroos. I got my, uh, I got a better setup this time. Last time I did one of these videos, I had to use my damn TV internet. Um, just because, like I said, they don't have the little guide in here anymore that translates and tells you what you're snacking on and so they put online which is complicated things but nevertheless i got my laptop here working now finally and uh this can make things a hell of a lot easier so i never know how to try these you know sometimes you know you just want to grab the first top ones and i did that last time and i was disappointed so you know what i'm gonna cheat a little bit here We'll take the chips out. I want to try the chips last. Okay, let's try all the other little snackaroos they got on going here. Okay. Sorry about the crumbs there. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with let's see here oh you know what i forgot to do and i once i give you a nice little close-up sorry my lighting's not the best there we go that's a lot better and i know you got the shadow of my chair in the way anyway so this ain't a professional deal so but again gives you a little background on belgium and some fun facts like let's see here belgium is the world's second largest producer of chocolate after germany well that makes a lot of sense actually so yeah that is belgium got a little excited there sorry all right, so, you know, these snack crates have been hit and miss. I can't say one in particular has been like an all-star, you know, Grand Slam uh, box. Um, they definitely have stuff that was good, was okay, average, or, you know, I basically tasted it before. Um, nasty. Um, so, very hit and miss. Um I think one of my all-time favorite snacks, I believe, was out of the Philippines one. And there's a snack. I don't know if I still have it anymore. It literally tasted like a roast beef sandwich. It was such a good snack. It made me quite happy. So let's see here. Uh, let's find out where my... There we are. Okay. So let's start off with this. Haribo. Everybody knows Haribo. We got Haribo here in America. So these are Pasta Fruta Fizz. Uh, Haribo does it again, this time in the form of sweet and sour gummy pasta. Pasta Fruta includes strawberry, apple, lemon, and now orange flavors. Wow. See if I can get this. I, 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 I have caught for some of these packages. 
yeah, yeah, that's not gonna work. So we're just gonna have to go old school here. Slice right through it. Ooh, that is fruity. Oh, I smell that right away. Oh my goodness. So, I'm assuming this is probably apple and strawberry that's mixed together. Okay. Let's see here. We got the yellow one, that's lemon. And then we got the, now, orange flavor. So we'll try all four of them. That one, I believe, strawberry, because it's, it's red. So why wouldn't it be, right? Ooh. Very chewy. I'm not going to sit here and waste five minutes chewing on it, but I'm assuming apple. Has that apple kind of taste to it? Lemon. It was, um, I knew I was gonna happen. That's a definition of sweet and sour. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, that made my butt bucker. All right. Uh, orange. Yeah, same with the orange. Ooh. Probably mainly like a kid snack. Nothing I would ever remotely consider snacking on. So, uh, one out of five. I mean, it's just super, you know, those kind of weird things that, like, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people that love that sweet and sour stuff, but not my thing. But it's good for, you know, camera, right? Let's see what we got next here. Ooh, that looks good. What is this? The Liege Waffles Chocolate. Domino keeps wanting to come over here. He always wants to make an appearance. Um, so it says Susie. Uh Guy Fred De Liege. Hope I pronounced that right. There's Domino. Like usual. Are you done? Come on, get out. Get out of here. Always got to be the uh, face of the party. All right, let's try this bad boy out. Oh, God, I did not like that sweet and sour. It's ugh. not good. Not good. It's a Big ass cookie, Jiminy Crickets. Look at that thing. Whew. Got the waffle. So it's like a chocolate covered waffle. It's really good. Hmm. Smells really good. That's very, very soft. As you can imagine. This popular treat combines the fresh baked flavor of a Belgian waffle with the rich and creamy excellence of Belgian chocolate. I'm not feeling it. <laughs> That's not 
good. I'm sure Belgian waffle is really, really good, but with chocolate on it, Belgian chocolate, but that's really highly disappointing. Just, I don't know. That does nothing for me. Um, I guess it'd be a little nicer. I'll get a, a two. Yeah, one and a half. So it did nothing for me. That was really disappointing. Well, just didn't hit. Deli chalk. Huh? Let's see here. Go, go, bah. Uh, Delic, um, Delacris, Dela Chalk, Chalk. Choco Bar features long crispy biscuits layered with rich chocolate, puffed rice balls, and an extra layer of crunch. We shall see. Oh wow, these are like skinny. Good lord, look at these things. <laughs> There's two skinny chocolate bars. Huh. How about that? Mm, okay, there we go. I took a minute for it to settle in. Mmm. No, I like. Hmm. Okay, that's really good. That's a 3.5. That's the best thing I've had by far in this box. The only reason I'm doing 3.5 right now is just because I want to shoot too high. In case anything else in here stands out. Like the chips I got over there. All right. It's tasty though. I enjoyed that. That's what we got here. This one. Dillo Chalk Choco Bar. Delaclair's Della Choc Choco Bar features long, crispy biscuits layered with rich chocolate, puffed rice balls, and extra... Did I just read this one? I did just read this one. I apologize. <clears throat> huh. Well, how about that? They don't even have this one listed. Yeah. Oh. Well, okay, then I guess we're going to just shoot from the hip from whatever the heck this is. Cote de Or. Basically, it looks like a milk chocolate bar. Yeah, it's not even on the. Uh, they don't even have a description for this one, so I don't know. I guess we got a little extra surprise. Voila. Oh, and all the sugar and sweet crap digest. Oh, Lord. All you chocolate lovers out there are like this thing. Hmm. Hmm. That's actually pretty good. That was not bad. That was 3.5. I can dig that. It's just weird that it's not on the description thing here. Alright. Now on our way to 
main event when it comes to the snacks. Oh, what should we do first? You know what? I don't like to go wrong with the lays, so we'll try out Crocky. Bicky Burger Chips. Experience a Belgian favorite in these Crocky Bicky Burger Chips. They're sweet, they're savory, they're everything you want them to be and more. Whew, that's quite the aroma. I can't quite put my finger on what that smells like. Okay, it's like a, it's my little barbecue. Try it out. Hmm. Trying to dictate if it tastes like a burger. A little tang. I don't know if I'm really getting a cheeseburger flavor. You know, I cannot quite put my finger on what that tastes like. I just, it's not him. What these taste like. Not, not even barbecue. I have no idea, man. I mean, they're pretty good. I mean, I'll give them, like, they're better than the other stuff, so, like, a three or something, but I wish I knew what is in a Bicky burger. Kind of tastes pickle, I guess. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I can't really quite put my finger on what that is. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, like, I can't really figure out what exactly it, it tastes like, so. All right, main event time. Little Lay's Potato Chips Grills. Lay's Grills, a snack that packs a punch. Lay's Grills are a potato and corn-based snack that combines smoky and salty flavors. So what, basically like barbecue chips, but like in a weird shape? I know. It's like a faint, smoky, barbecue kind of a thing. Mm. Mm. Okay, there we go. Mm. That's tasty. I like a hickory barbecue. Mm. No, I dig it. You know what? Mm. They're addictive little creatures. You're better. Mm. That's good. That's a four. 
Ooh, that is a definite four, especially out of this box. This is quite the disappointing box so far. Well, and time, as always, to flush everything down with a little palette cleanser. So, see what we got here with this one, maybe. So, we got Fanta Exotic. Everyone's had Fanta. Bright and fizzy tropical soft drink. Fanta Exotic combines passion fruit, peach, and orange flavors. Truly the most exotic Fanta you will ever try. I already like what I'm hearing. Because I need to cleanse down some of this crap. Because other than those Lay's chips, and I mean, I don't even kind of give credit to the other chips. There wasn't a whole lot going for this, this, this particular box. I'll tell you that right now. Smells nice. Yeah, that's refreshing. I like that. I could sip on that. Oh, gosh. Well, like I said, all in all, there was like maybe two items in here that were good. Decent. Um, so, all in all, I'd give the box like maybe a two. Um, Vanta was good. The chips were good, but the chocolate bar was pretty good. Like I said, I mean, I'm not huge on the heavy chocolate, but all in all, uh, like I said, these things are so hit and miss. People just have a different taste around the world. So many stuff. It's a huge hit where they're from. Don't really affect me. Ooh, that's fizzy, though. Ooh, that is, that is a fizzy drink. Oh, God. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me for the trip to Belgium. Oh, good God. Um, I don't know what's next. So, I guess we'll find out.